Hello, hello. So welcome back to another episode of Divine Interruptions. I am Robin, and I just wanted to interrupt your day really quick just to give you a nugget that God has laid on my heart. And um, it comes today from Matthew 7, verses 13 and 14. It says, enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. That's disturbing when it says that only a few find it. Um, sometimes we tend to follow the crowd. We see so many people being so successful in so many different areas to where we want it. We want it. Uh, God dealt with me because I, I've been pursuing entrepreneurship for some years now since 2018 and when i tell you that i could not i could not get it to align i could not get it to line up of i i tried to learn marketing networking and not try but i have learned those things i've learned how uh what what network marketing is i've learned um what marketing period is you know digital marketing and it's like no, none of it resonated, like none of it hit my spirit like this is it. And I had a conversation with somebody and they were saying that, um, do you see a lot of people that are doing these things? And I said, yeah, but everybody's doing it. I mean, they're making lots of money and everything. And in that moment, God checked my heart. He said, look at your motive, first of all. Your, mo your motive is for the money. And I have created you for the impact. And I said, well, God, what am, what am I supposed to do? Like, I know that the, you did not put this entrepreneurial spirit within me just for me not to learn these things. And of course, I believe that, uh, you know, it's, it's here. It's here that, that those things will manifest and blossom. But the way that, that I was following the crowd, doing what they do, learning their techniques. I mean, literally watching videos of people just doing like the way that they do it and all these other things. And God was like, no, I've called you to be set apart. You will not do it the way that everybody else do. And God has already given me the blueprint. He's given me the structure. He's shown me how he wants me to do it. But yet I was looking at the crowd so I just want to encourage somebody today. That gate is is bright, is bright. It's so much opportunity out here. But God has said that we are a peculiar people. We are supposed to be separated from 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 the you know the way of the world. God has called us out from among them to be separate. You know, it's like when the children of Israel went into before they went into the promised land. God told them. He said, "Do not." allow the gods of their land to become your gods for i am your god and i will guide you i will lead you and so all you have to do is just trust me but they want you know they when they got there they cried out for a king because all the other nations had a king so then god said oh okay you want a king i'll give you a king i mean it's like now is the time more than ever that we trust god that we believe god and that we follow god because the way that he's going to do it is not going to be like the world it's not going to be the way that the world has done it the kingdom advancing is not going to be like how like you can't that's and that's the problem right now is that we allow the world to teach us how to do how to advance the kingdom and so what we do is we try to bring the world into the kingdom or or do we call it the church and then we try to do business as the world do business and god is like mm -mm, no this is my kingdom this is my kingdom and the governments of this world will be upon my shoulders so we have to get in alignment with god and that that way is narrow that way is narrow i tell people all the time i say this this road is lonely it really is lonely i mean if you can picture a narrow road and you squeezing through that road there's not enough room for somebody to be on all your sides it gets lonely 
it is is hard sometimes because you have the desire for relationships you have the desire for connections and god will give you those things but when you are on the road to to as he's preparing you on this road to where to take you where he has you then it is lonely it's lonely but we still have to trust him we have to believe that he is the God that said that he, whatever it is that he said he's going to do, he's going to do it. His written word and his rhema word. His written word and his rhema word. You know, uh, it's, it's important for us to know that the word of God, the written word of God, those are people's stories. But history has not stopped being written because you're a part of it. You, my friend, are a part of history. And so God has not stopped writing. This, this book is it's not done because you're still here. You are still here. So therefore, this is encouragement. Like these people's testimonies are encouragement for us today. But God still speaks to us. God still speaks to us. And the only way that we will be able to hear him is to get away from the noise, get off that broad road, get off that wide road, that wide gate that everybody is traveling along and, and get with him, allow him. Jesus said that the Holy Spirit will come to teach us, to comfort us and to teach us in, in all truth and to remind us of, of what Jesus said and did. So, you know, we, we, we dabble back and forth in, in different uh, doctrines and, and different beliefs and different people, you know what I'm saying? But God is hungry. He is hungry for a relationship with us. He's hungry for that one-on-one -on -one with you and him, him and I. He's hungry for that. He wants that. But he's, he's such a gentleman that he's not just going to intrude on your life. You have a choice. So my friend, I want to encourage you today, this day, choose who you're going to serve. Who will you serve? Because one thing that God showed me, he's been showing me this for years, but he's been highlighting it to me for the last couple of days, is that darkness is, up, is, upon, a, is, ugh, darkness is upon the earth, but growth darkness is coming gross darkness is coming and if we are not careful we will be in that number we will be in that number and we will be left out left out of the left out of the the grace and mercy well not the grace and mercy of god but the goodness of god because he leaves this time open for his grace and his mercy and right now he's calling us to come back to him to return back to him that's not a church service that's a relationship that's a relationship so choose the narrow way choose the narrow gate be one of the be one of the few that find it through a relationship through intimacy with him through longing for him being hungry and thirsty for his righteousness his kingdom him as the king because I see it. I see the kingdom of God is going, it's, it's going to advance. It's going to rule and reign here in the earth. But God is calling us, his children, to prepare, to prepare the way for the king to enter. Prepare the way for the king to enter. So we have a mandate. We have a mandate by God. In 2016, God said, these are going to be four years of mercy for my church, four years of mercy for my bride to return back to me. Four years of, of mercy to return back to me. And I know, you know, I, I say it all the time. I don't politic with people. I don't politic talk with people. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's a lot of things that's going on, and we may not like it according to our flesh. We may not like it according to our flesh. But we have to seek out God and his will. We have to seek out his word. We have to ask him what is his heart and what's going on. And then we have to ride that thing out. We have to ride that thing out.
and 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 God is calling us forth now to come out from hiding. I've been hiding for years. I will confess I have been hiding for years. Years. And a lot of it is self-isolation. Because I was afraid. I was afraid. I felt like there, there was a muzzle over my mouth. But God has has allowed us this this time of separation but such a time is right now and it's time for us to take our stand as the children of god it's time for us to stand up and rise up and 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 do great exploits because the world's going to come to us they're going to come to us for answers they're going to come to us for provision they're going to come to us for the way of life this is what the word of god has said but are we preparing ourselves for that or are we on this broad road? Are we have we entered through the, the wide gate and following the world? My friend, my friend, today, today, it's it's not too late. The word of God says that as long as it's today, today, make the decision that no, I'm done. I'm going down the, the narrow path. I'm going down the narrow path, and no matter how hard it gets. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to stand. The word of God says that when you've done all that you can do, just stand. Just stand. Just stand. Let him fight. Because he will. When, he, when it's time for you to fight, he'll give you the sword and show you how to do it. But let him fight for you. The victory is already won. So we don't stand in a place of, of trying to to fight a battle to gain the victory. We stand in a place of victorious. We have already won. We have already won. The battle has already been won. You know why? Because God said that he has gone before us and prepared the way and prepared the way. But we get stuck on the road. We get stuck in fear. We allow fear to hinder us and hold us back. From, from continuing to move forward. When God is saying, my, my child, my son, my daughter, I have already cleared the way for you. I have already made room for you. Just go, just go. This is how he talks to me in my life. So if he's doing it for me, then, I mean, come on, God's not a respecter of persons. He'll do it for you. He'll do it for you. But we have to trust him. We have to trust him. We have to believe that he's, he is who he says that he is. And he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. This is a time of deliverance. This is a time of being set free. God is setting his people free. He is setting his people free. And if we can't look at the way that he delivered the children of Israel and see what's going on today and not see this, then I'm not sure what God you're looking at. I'm not sure who's been talking to you and teaching you about who God is. I'm not sure that you've even taken that time to have this relationship with God so that he could reveal it to you himself. I tell people all the time, don't take it from me. Go search it for yourself. Go read it for yourself. Ask him to show, to reveal to you what his word is saying. He'll do it. He'll do it. That's what the Holy Spirit is that's in us. It's in us. It's already a seal that we already have within us, which is the Holy Spirit that seals the word of God. God said, write his word on your heart. Write it on your heart. And out of, out of your heart flows the issues of life. Out of your heart flows. You get that? You have to speak it. So, my friend, I just wanted to encourage you today. I just want to encourage you, come off the bride road, close the gate to the wide, the wide gate, shut, shut them gates up, and enter onto, and onto the narrow road, on the narrow road. Because Jesus is coming back for a bride, a far blemish. And we are in a season where we are preparing. It's like God showed me, we are, it's like John the Baptist. You know, John the Baptist prepared the way in the wilderness for Jesus' first coming, for, for his first coming as far as ministry, because he was already here. He was already alive. 
but John the Baptist prepared the way in the wilderness for his coming in. And we are going to prepare the way for his coming in this second time. And when he come, we're going to rule and reign. We're going to reign right here in the earth. We're waiting for the rapture. We're going to rule and reign first. We are going to rule and reign first. First. So trust God. Get in that relationship. Get intimate with him. Close your ears to the noise and the naysayers. Turn off your TV. Quit allowing the media and the TV, the the channels, whoever they are, to be your God and give you the revelation because they're not doing anything but pumping you with fear. They're, they're pumping you with fear. Turn it off and seek God. Seek God's heart. What does he desire? What, what is he saying right now? And be obedient and follow him. Be obedient and do what he says to do because my friend, they've been telling me, I'm 40 years old, and they've been telling me that the time is short my whole life. I've been in church my whole life. God called me away in 2007, in 2013 so that I could develop this relationship with him. And they've been telling me that the time is short my whole life. But the more he gives me revelation of his word, the more I see that the bride is coming. The bride is coming. He's even opened up relationships for me abroad. I mean, globally, to where I have communication with people around the globe and I see kingdom citizens in love with their relationship with God, and hungry and thirsty for more of him and ready to move within the earth. It's like a groan. It's a groan. Like, we, we like, oh, what do we do? It's like a groan within our spirit, like we ready to go. So I just wanted to encourage you with that. I just wanted to encourage you with that. We have to be careful. We have to be careful because the enemy is cunning. He's deceiving. He is very deceiving. And, and it's like, you know, if, if we open up the door just to crack for him, he gonna bust through that door full blown, full blown. But if we don't know who God is, if we don't know the ways of God, if we don't know the heart of God, then we'll fall for it every time. We'll fall for it every time. Like I hunger and thirst for the type of relationship that Jesus had. Jesus had revelation knowledge of, of the ways of the enemy. Like he knew, he knew his tactics and what he was about to do. We are spirit beings living an earthly experience and we should know too, because we are supposed to live from a higher dimension, from the heavens. That's where we come from. That's where we come from. But if we keep living according to the flesh, then we'll, we'll miss it every time. We'll miss it every time. So come up higher. Seek that relationship with God. Get close to him. Hunger and thirst for him. Like we do this, these snacks and junk food and sodas. Jesus said that he's the living water. Just like our bodies need water. Like I hear fitness groups. I mean, you know, I, I really need to start paying attention to them too. But like I had to get my spiritual water on. <laughs> But like thirst for him, hunger for him, for his righteousness. He says, seek ye first my righteousness, my kingdom and my righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. All other things will be added unto you. And I am a living witness. I am a living witness. First he took me through giving it up, then he took me through losing it all. Uh, no, I'm sorry, because I've lost things in the past, but it hasn't been like this season of losing things, material things. So let's get right. Let's get right. I love you guys in the Lord. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. I love you. Bye.